Hey guys, hopefully in HD today I'm going to be able to show you guys how to get the zoom uh, effect in Cam Studio Screen Recorder. So first of all, um, you're going to open the link I've provided in the description. Uh, I'm going to just copy that so I can give it back to you now and actually upload the video. Uh, it's the workerscollection.com and this is called the magnifying glass. There is a pro version if you want to buy it, but I'm, I'm going to demonstrate how to get the free version. It's a very, very small download. It's the it's only half a megabyte, so I'm just going to click on it and hit open. And it's already done downloading, so I'm going to hit open again. And it's going to open Windows Explorer, where I can um, extract all these files. So first of all, I'm going to exit out of our internet browser, since we no longer need this. What I'm going to do is just hit the Extract All Files button and find a place that I want to extract it. So I'll go into my documents, and I made a file just for program documents that I'm downloading. So I hit OK and make sure you have this button checked to show extracted files when complete. Hit the extract button. Wait for this to finish. Copying just five items, less than a megabyte, and that is done. So if we have this, then all the extracted files will be in one folder, hopefully. Let's go ahead and look for that folder right now. And it should be called setup, setup magni glass, magnifying glass setup. So I'm just going to double click on setup, and USC pops up, which is obviously invisible to Camp Studio, but um, if you have that disabled, it won't come up. So this will install it onto your computer. We're going to go through the typical setup process, hit next a ton of times, and it is done. So I'm going to launch the application when this is actually done. Hit the finish button. And this is the magnifying glass um, application. So basically what we're going to do is say we're going to run it at Windows Startup. And we're going to show glass after the application startup. And I'm going to obviously, it's only available in English and Russian, which is interesting. But I'm speaking English. And my hotkey is going to be Control Shift F3. Just, just actually no, it's going to be Control Shift Q. Um, so it says if you're a hotkey combination resetting when you enter such a hotkey combination um, well that's basically unimportant what I'm going to say is those two go to basic options I'm going to say full visible transparency for this is for Windows 2000 or XP so it won't really matter if you're in Vista and uh, zoom factor I'll go ahead and say two and a half um, then we're going to, we can set the size of the actual zoom. Um, I'm just going to mess around with this here. It's not going to be a big difference. Um, so that's what I'm going to use. And advanced options, we can choose it to be in contrast mode. Negative, I'm sure you've seen in all those picture effects. And also fixed gamma and broken TV also use quite a bit of CPU. So I'm going to just say no. And offset from cursor, we don't want any offset from cursor. I'm going to lower that. Actually, I'm going to leave it at the default just to see what it's like. Um, it's pretty good. Next, what we want to do, uh, this is a pro version, so we really don't need to look into that because we haven't actually paid for the pro version. So that is all the options that we can set. So our hotkey is Control-Shift-Q. Now, anytime we want, I'm going to just go ahead and open any random my documents folder here control shift Q and there you see it it's a little bit offset for my cursor which I might not actually like and so I'm gonna change I'm gonna change a few things I'm going to exit out and down here in my system tray it's a magnifier so I'm going to go to options again to bring up this menu at any time um, I wanted to erase any offset from my cursor so it is directly on top of my cursor and I'm going to decrease the zoom factor a little bit and make it more widescreen. So let's see. 360 by 240. I'm going to go... I'm recording right now in 360 by... No, I'm recording in 640 by 360. So I'm going to go ahead and make it a 100, 100 by 200 just for the sake of showing you guys. So now when I open something up, uh, let's see, open calculator, and I want to show you what button exactly I am pressing. There you go. You see exactly what it is, and in the window. So um, 
that's just a quick way to get zoom in Cam Studio. You may have already seen my tutorial about how to use the, your mouse to get a much larger version of Zoom, although that does make the screen blink if you just turn completely white, turn completely black, mess with your microphone, but then you can see quite vividly what exactly I'm clicking on, or the, again, the built-in magnifying glass feature um, into Windows Vista. So, um, yeah, that's another way that you can customize your magnifier in Windows in Cam Studio. So I uh, hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and subscribe. Peace.